Hello, boys and girls. It's time for our read aloud. All right. We've been reading The Secrets of June, The Hidden Stairs, and The Magic Carpet. Okay. We're on chapter four, and it's called At the Bridge. Oomph! Eric rolled over and over until he stopped under the bridge. He looked up. He couldn't believe his eyes. Neil, Julie, I thought I'd lost you. Neil put his hand over Eric's mouth. Shh. Julie pointed to the top of the bridge. Those ugly red guys are up there, Eric nodded. Neil pulled his hand away. Eric started speaking as quickly and as softly as he could. He told Neil and Julie what had happened to him. We're in some place called Droon, he whispered. I met a princess named Kia. She gave me a message for her father, King Zello. Neil glanced at the paper in Eric's hand, then gave him a strange look. Uh-huh, sure. The red guys are called nins, Eric continued. We have to see what they're up to. Give me a boost. Neil grumbled, but put out his hand so Eric could hoist himself up. A moment later, Julie was next to Eric. Together, they peeked over the top of the bridge. Uh-oh, Julie whispered. On the bridge were at least a dozen nins. Up close, their red faces were puffy and fat. Their slitty eyes were set close together. Their chins were pointed. One nin snarled. Each one had clawed fingers. Lord Spar will be angry. The girl's too quick, snapped another nin. And my groggle's too slow, added another one. Ooga, ooga! A sound like a horn blasted through the forest. Then the ground rumbled. Is that a car? Neil whispered from below. Uh, sort of, Julie answered. But it wasn't like any car they had ever seen. It was long and yellow and had a bubble on top. It bounced down the road on eight fat tires. When it screeched to a stop in front of the Nins, a tall man stepped out. He was different from the others. Eric thought he wasn't a Nin. His skin wasn't red or pale like Kia's. He was human, pretty much. Well, except for two purple fins sticking up behind his ears. Where's the girl? He snarled. His long black coat dragged heavily across the ground. The nins trembled. One looked up. The others helped her escape, Lord Spar, he said. Lord Spar's eyes flashed in anger, and the fins behind his ears suddenly grew darker. Did you see that? Julie whispered. He's some kind of wizard, Eric whispered back. Princess Kia said he was pure evil. Oh my. Here's a picture. He sure does look pure evil. How many others? Spar demanded. Another nin held up his claw. He lowered three of his six fingers. Three, my lord. Scour the forest. Burn it down if you must. But find the girl. Find her friends, too. Lord Spar turned and stormed back to his yellow car. Ooga, ooga! The horn blasted. The engine roared. The car tore away loudly down the road, leaving a cloud of thick, blue smoke behind it. Flap, flap! The sound of flapping, groggle wings filled the forest. A moment later, Eric and his friends were alone at the bridge. Lord Spar is definitely bad news, Julie said, and those ear fins are very weird. The whole place is weird, if you ask me, said Neil. How do we get out of here? Eric frowned. Kia said to find somebody named Galen who lives in a tower. If we do, she promised to help us get home. And Galen is also supposed to send this message to her father. Eric unfolded the wrinkled paper Kia had given him. In thin blue ink, it read, Decada el Liu Fradnifraz. That's obviously a different language. Eric scratched his head. Well, this doesn't make any sense. Julie laughed. No kidding. I mean, flying lizards, bubble cars, a guy with fins on his head, and all under your stairs? Neil added. Eric didn't answer. He looked into the forest where he had last seen Kia. He hoped she was safe, but something told him she wasn't. I think she's in danger, he said quietly. So are we, Julie added. Let's find this Galen guy, Neil said. The sooner we do, the sooner we get home. There's a path this way. Come on. 
Neil started running along the path. He rushed into a clearing, and he bumped his nose on something that wasn't there. That's the end of the chapter. So next chapter is called The Vanishing Tower. It's chapter five. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next chapter. This is getting good. I like the suspense. <laughs>